Hey there. Here's a model 1908 Swiss soldier's knife, and it looks like a fairly typical one, uh, but this one's a little different. Uh, after 1921, there were just generally two manufacturers of this, these knives, uh, Victorinox and Winger, and you're going to have one of two different tang stamps, Elsner Suisse or Winger Delamont. Um, this one has an interesting tang stamp that you don't often see, and it reads SMV over a Swiss cross. Now, most... Uh, Serious collectors of Swiss soldier knives believe that SMV stands for Schweizerischen Messerschmitt Verbands. And I apologize, I know I butchered that German, so let me just put the words on the screen right now. But translated to English, that means Swiss Cutler's Association. Uh, the Swiss Cutler's Association was initiated and co-founded in 1891 by none other than Carl Elsner. And I'll just read you out of uh, Victor Knox's book, The Knife and Its History, the objective for that. Um, in 1890, he, Carl Elsner, took the initiative of organizing the Association of Swiss Master Cutlers, which was actually founded the next year. The prime objective of this association of interests was stated as being cooperation between all members to develop what no single cutler had yet achieved, a pocket knife made for the Swiss Army in Switzerland. Up to then, the Swiss military administration had purchased knives for soldiers' kits from Zoligen, the center of the German cutlery industry. In October of 1891, the first knives for the Swiss Army were delivered. Here's a picture of the Swiss Cutlers Association uh, at their 1905 annual meeting. This picture is taken from the same book. And uh, about half of the people can be identified. And all the way over here, about half cut off is Carl Elsner in the hat. This was taken in front of the town hall of Schwyz. So SMV uh, is thought to stand for the Swiss Cutlers Association, although it's not documented anywhere and there's no hard proof for that. So there's very little known about this tank stamp actually. Um, there are three different versions of it and um, they're just slightly different. I will go ahead and put images of those three versions up right now. Okay, so most of them don't have a vintage stamp, a date stamp on them, and uh, that does not necessarily mean that they were before 1921 um, when they started putting the date stamp on Swiss soldier knives, but they are generally believed to have been made somewhere between 1916 and the early 1920s. Um, what they are believed to be are civilian knives, civilian issues, and some of them also carry on the reverse stamp anoxid. Uh, which is French for stainless. So that would indicate some are made after 1921 when stainless steel was adopted and used in the Swiss cutlery industry. Uh, they can also carry the uh, WK stamp because after 1916 that was permitted for civilian knives to carry the WK stamp, the Waffen Control stamp. So uh, very interesting just to look at the rest of this knife. Um, Here's the main blade. It's in really good shape. It's carbon. This one's carbon. Uh, this one has a stamp E on the back. Uh, some of them, uh, as I said, might say an oxid very rarely. Some of them don't have anything. Some have an E, some have a W, and some have an R. And again, there's no proof, and this is just pure uh, theory on people's parts, but people, some people believe this may mean Elsener. Uh, the W may mean Wenger. And the R may mean Roethlisberger, which is a, a producer of Swiss soldier knives in Switzerland. And the idea, I think, is, is that smaller cutlers sent their knives for final assembly to one of those other manufacturers, Elsner, Winger, or Roethlisberger, or maybe for a final heat treat because they didn't have the, uh, the, the ovens. So I don't know. That's, again, that's all just conjecture. So that's the main blade. And here's a look at your screwdriver. The uh, can opener on this one is a real challenge, real nail buster. It's got awesome snap. <laughs> um, I guess they did not want these to collapse when you were opening your tin can. And then here's the awl. So that knife is really in great shape. I'm really not sure the age. 
Really very little is known about these, although I just know that it's a very cool tank stamp to get on a Swiss soldier knife. You don't see it very often. I really like it. I think that M is stylized to look like mountains, you know, the Swiss mountains. Although, again, that's just uh, an observation on my part. Okay, so there's a look at it. Model 1908 Swiss Soldier's Knife with the SMV Swiss Master Cutlers Association tang stamp. Thanks for watching.